Hello, welcome. I'm Chris Tavano, and we're in the kitchen of Bar Lily at the Broker Restaurant in Boulder, Colorado. Um, today we're going to do some sausage stuffing. Everything we got here today for your needs is the good old trusty KitchenAid Artisan Stand Mixer that we sell at Tundra Restaurant Supply, as well as um, the grinder attachments that we also sell, the FGA2. Um, this itself is the grinder. We got the auger that actually spins your meat. We got two dies that cut the meat. So there are two different sizes. You always want to start with a bigger size, go down to a smaller size. This is the actual cutting blade itself. And then for later on, we got um, the casing tools as well as your feeder. Um, right now we got a plate full of some herbs that we're going to mix in later. We got a dough meat, just like elk, deer, as well as some pork stomach casings to actually stuff the sausages in. Got the auger and make it kind of fail safe and just push it in as far as that can go. Then from there you want to take your blade. It's got a nice square end, fits only one way. Then like I said earlier, start with your larger die, your cover, screw it on all nice and tight. All right, so the most important part when grinding meat is coldness. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your meat, in our case dough, female deer meat, that you freeze the meat, as well as the grinding attachment. Everything in here, your blade, your die cast, as well as the auger and the tube itself, the colder it is, the better it's gonna cut through your meat. So here we go. Kind of start at a lower speed. You just kind of place it all on the top and you get your nice presser. You can put it up a little bit more. So again, we're starting on the largest grinding attachment. So the first grind, you're gonna probably wanna grind your meat a couple times, but not too many times. Twice is usually good enough, depending on how fatty your meat is. And then once you get all the meat through, just kind of hold it there for a second, make sure the auger pushes all your meat forward through the tube. And there we go. So that's our first phase of grinding. So we got some fresh garden picked herbs here, rosemary and thyme. What you're gonna do is just mince those up, throw it on your meat, because remember we just went through one pass, we're gonna go through the second pass with a slightly smaller cut die. Your pusher attachment also doubles as a winch to help get off your attachments here. So they can be a little bit tricky getting out once they're dirty. Go ahead and set those aside because you're gonna wanna wash all these parts individually. And I would actually recommend taking the auger out so that way you can clear out this entire canal and now we can go back through with all your meat a second time. And this time we're adding the herbs. Good way, you gotta grind it twice anyway at a, a coarse and then a fine. So it's always nice to just add your herbs going into the last stage of grinding. Then now that it's already ground the first time, you really wanna gonna be a little bit patient and make sure all of the, your ground meat gets through there. So this last stage of fine, of fine grinding is a great stage to add your spices and your seasonings, your salt, your pepper, your garlic, your peppercorns, whatever you wanna put in there to flavor your meat. Again, we got a pretty gamey meat here that we're using today, so it doesn't need a whole lot of extra stuff to it because we don't wanna take away or degrade from the quality of meat. All right, so right here, I'm gonna show you how to put on your casing attachment. Again, I took everything out, took it apart just because it's easier to work with, cleaned up the blade and die pieces that we needed to. You're still gonna use the auger. Remember that square bolt just pushes all the way into the back. Be sure you get it to recess all the way. We've got our little guide attachment. Only one way that can fit on. Then we got our caser, goes on the front. And then the nut that just holds all of this in place. All right, so one thing to keep in mind when you're working with kind of gamey meats like this, such as the doe, the deer, and the elk, um, the fat content. Gamey meats are really typically pretty lean, so you're gonna wanna add an additional fat content to that, whether that be pork fat or bacon fat or even beef fat. Um, easiest thing you could do is just go to your local market, butcher or Whole Foods, and just mention that you wanna set aside some fat for grinding. And very cheap, very affordable, very easy to make. Also, this is a, another great stage to add your seasonings, um, your spices, your herbs. So I just mixed the, the meat that we just freshly ground in with some pre-ground meat that we had from a little bit earlier that already had enough fat content in it. So now we're about to stuff our actual sausage, our hog casings. Um, these are actually intestines to a pig. 
You can get these pretty much anywhere. Again, your local butcher, your local grocery store. Uh, they come in the fresh version like this that stays in a liquid, just a water bath. Or you can get some dried ones from an online retailer as well. So from here, what we try and do is we gotta get all of our casing onto the feeder itself. All right, so what I've done so far is primed the meat inside all of our attachment right here so that way meat is full in this tube, the hopper, and all the way through our casing attachment. And then right now I got a little bit of extra casing on the end, tie that off in a knot. Now we're gonna start off real slow. And you can kind of just hold your sausage there nice and tight so that way they get nice and plump. Just keep your casing in place, don't let it go too far yet. The casing is gonna stretch out quite a bit. And if you want, you can put little twists in it every once in a while. Um, once you get all the meat through the hopper, uh, just let it sit on so that way the auger tries to push out as much of what's left in the tube as it possibly can. So one last thing I want to note and address to you about sausage making is that your combinations are almost limitless. From the kinds of meat you use, the kinds of seasoning and spices, to the kinds of herbs that you use. Go ahead and get creative and experiment. Now that you know the basics, the options are limitless for you. Today we use our KitchenAid stand mixer for this small, small volume that we created today. However, if you're looking for something a little bit more grandiose, we do offer a commercial grade Uniworld 5 pound and 15 pound sausage stuffer. So I'm Chris Tavano for Tundra Restaurant Supply, joining you from the kitchen of Bar Lily at the Broker Inn in Boulder, Colorado. Here's to a better mise en place.